Hey guys, welcome to my Uniswap DEX tutorial. Uniswap is a DEX or decentralized exchange that allows for the exchange of ERC20 tokens built on the Ethereum blockchain. Unlike centralized exchanges like Binance or Coinbase, Uniswap allows for truly decentralized and completely anonymous swaps of cryptocurrency. It does this in a different way to a normal exchange by creating liquidity pools, which you can use to trade or even add to in order to generate an income on your cryptocurrency. In this video, I'll show you how to get up and running on Uniswap, then go ahead and swap some tokens, plus how to add liquidity onto the platform and earn revenue from your cryptocurrency. Whilst explaining some of the concepts of Uniswap along the way, including some of the benefits and potential downsides of using crypto swaps and liquidity pools. All of the sections for this video are listed as timestamps in the video description, along with other helpful videos and resources. So be sure to check out the description if you need more information. The way you get to Uniswap is by going to the website. It's not an app or a service. And so all you have to do is go to uniswap.org. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go through and check Uniswap out, but you should come to this homepage. From this page, we can do absolutely everything within Uniswap. And what we have to do later on is link a cryptocurrency wallet so that we can use the services that Uniswap gives us. Uniswap though generates liquidity for millions of users and hundreds of Ethereum applications. This means that there are other people on Uniswap actually giving liquidity. You can see there are over 72,000 liquidity providers right now. This means that there are 72,000 other users that are putting up their coins and participating in liquidity pools to enable other people to trade Ethereum based tokens. Uniswap supports ERC20 tokens. These are tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. I'll put up a list of ERC20 tokens right now so you can see Ethereum and all other tokens built on the Ethereum blockchain are called ERC20 tokens. Uniswap has done over 83 billion in all time volume in terms of trading on the Ethereum network and 29 million trades overall, but there is a growing protocol ecosystem as well. But the main thing to know for now anyway, is that Uniswap is a protocol that enables you to swap ERC20 tokens. So we don't need to sign up for anything, but if we wanna go ahead and use Uniswap, just come up to this icon, click it, and it will take us into the swap window. Now we're in the swap window, you should see app.uniswap.org in your browser. It actually reminds you of this up here, just so you're using the correct service. Because Uniswap is decentralized, you don't actually have to sign up for an account. And so you need to make sure you're on the correct platform. Before I take you through some swap trades, let's go over to the chart feature and learn more about Uniswap. We can have a look at the overall liquidity on the Uniswap platform and the 24 hour trading volumes are listed here. This is the total liquidity over a given period. You can see more and more people are using Uniswap to swap their Ethereum tokens. And the 24 hour volume is given here. This is important to know because the amount of volume that is traded on Uniswap and other platforms may give you an idea of the strain on the Ethereum network. Usually the more people that use it, the more trades that happen, the higher the gas fees will be on Ethereum. So just keep that in mind. As we come down to top tokens, these are the most traded tokens on Uniswap right now. This will give you an idea of how much liquidity is on the platform for certain tokens. The more liquidity means that we should have a much more accurate price in terms of the swap prices that we can get. Ethereum is up there as well, but we can see USDC, which is Coinbase's stablecoin, and then WBTC, which is wrapped Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not based on the Ethereum network and it is not an ERC20 token. So you cannot swap Bitcoin directly with other ERC20 tokens on Uniswap. That is why wrapped Bitcoin exists. Wrapped Bitcoin is an ERC20 token and is a Bitcoin derivative asset. That means that this asset right here, wrapped Bitcoin, takes its value from Bitcoin. As we move down, we can see the top pairs. These are trading pairs on the Uniswap platform. No surprise here that Bitcoin against Ethereum is the most traded pair on the platform. They are the number one and two assets in the cryptocurrency space. This is just some good trading information and lets you know what pairs are most liquid on the platform. So as we come back to the swap page, this allows us to swap two coins. So instead of going to a centralized exchange and trading Ethereum and wrapped Bitcoin, which you can do, this is different. Swapping coins on Uniswap is not the same as trading coins on an exchange. 
when you trade on an exchange, you and a secondary participant in the market actually come together to trade with each other. If you're a buyer, the other person must be a seller. You buy his cryptocurrency. On Uniswap, it's different. People provide their coins as liquidity in pools, and then you can go and swap that pair. Uniswap only allows for swaps from cryptocurrency wallets. So when you do want to swap some coins, maybe sell an ERC20 token and swap it for another, we do have to connect a cryptocurrency wallet first. We can therefore click on connect a wallet and it's gonna give us a variety of options that we can use to connect our cryptocurrency wallet to the Uniswap protocol. If you have a hardware wallet, you can link them up to a service like MetaMask and then use that protocol to link it up with Uniswap to swap your tokens. I have a video on the best hardware wallets to use for this year. I'll link that in the description for you. Plus I'll leave a link to Trezor as well if you wanna check those hardware wallets out and see if they're right for you. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna connect my Coinbase wallet known as Wallet Link in this case. After your wallet is connected, Uniswap will now have access to your wallet. So it will know all of the holdings within your wallet. If you have Ethereum or wrapped Bitcoin or any other tokens, it will know how many that you have, which is obviously a good thing when you want to swap. After your wallet is connected, we have to go through with the swap. So the first thing is to choose what coin that we want to swap from. This is essentially the same as selling a coin. I'm just gonna choose Ethereum in this case, but you can click here and see all of the options as well. You can also search for the name. So if I type WBTC, it will come up with wrapped Bitcoin that I can choose. Also, you can go to manage as well. If we click on manage, another option comes up to look at lists. Because there are so many ERC20 tokens, Uniswap actually plugs in to a series of lists that you might wanna use. These lists ensure that you are using the correct token addresses to change. Many people will therefore choose services that they trust to give them the lists. For example, CoinGecko, you can turn it on, and the Gemini token list is here as well. You can actually just enter the true address of the coin as well up here. So if you have the address, you can enter that in here. But for most people, you can simply go back to select a token. And because we have a list of tokens here from the Gemini platform, we can trust that they are the real thing. I'm gonna keep on Ethereum for now then. And the two option is the cryptocurrency that you want to trade into. We can select this token very easily. I'll just choose Aave for this example. Then you can choose how much you want to trade. So I'll choose 0.5 Ethereum. And then the options will come up. Now we have a price for Aave already. This is the price that is currently trading between this trading pair in the pool right now. This is just an estimated price because the price will obviously change every second depending on how the pair is trading. But as we come down, we should see the minimum received, price impact and liquidity provider fee. When you trade cryptocurrencies in pools, there may be something known as slippage. This is the amount difference between what you think you might get when you trade and what you actually receive. This is based on price fluctuations that happen within the pool after you click trade, but before the trade is actually confirmed and executed. The price impact is the amount that your trade actually moves the price differential between the trading pair within the pool. When you trade a tiny amount of cryptocurrencies like I'm showing you here, the price impact on the liquidity pool is very, very low. If I choose to trade a lot, so change this to 500, you will see that the price impact on the pool goes up a lot. Trading a large amount of cryptocurrency like this may lead you to get a worse price because of the price impact you're having on the larger liquidity pool. The liquidity provider fee is essentially a fee that we pay to the people that actually put up their coins in the liquidity pool for us to trade. On Uniswap, as of making this video, it's 0.3%, so we pay that to the liquidity provider. We can also go through and see the pair analytics right now before we trade. So if we click on this, we go to the other page and we can see what the volume is and also how the prices have moved over time. So we have the total liquidity of the pools right now, about 45 million USD. We also have the volume traded in the last 24 hours and the fees paid to liquidity providers in the last 24 hours. We can even see all the other trades that are going through on this trading pair. So over nine minutes ago was the last trade. As we come back to the swap screen though, the other thing that you might wanna do before you go ahead and trade is look at settings. You can set these to what you want, but when you do swap tokens via Uniswap and via a liquidity pool, we are swapping them on the blockchain. And so slippage tolerance may be important. If you place a very large order at a time of high volume or high trading demand, you may have some trouble putting the order through. 
This is because the network can only process so many transactions at the same time, and you could have a lot of slippage. And so you may want to increase your slippage tolerance overall. If you know that the Ethereum network is under a lot of strain right now, then you may want to switch this over to 1%, half a percent, and not 0.1%. You can also go over here yourself and put in an amount that you are willing to let slip when the transaction goes through here. And you can also change the transaction deadline to an amount that you want. I would say that if the transaction hasn't gone through in about five minutes, then it probably won't go through. In normal times when there is not a huge strain on the network, I would say a slippage tolerance of half a percent or one percent is absolutely fine. If you really, really need to get a trade through though, and you've seen a bit of news or you just need to get it done, then I would let these tolerances slip a little bit to maybe 5%. And again, the transaction deadline, if you have a good slippage tolerance, then you're not going to need 20 minutes to process the transaction. I would also rather get the trade done first time rather than risk it being rejected by the network. Even if the trade doesn't go through, you may still have to pay gas fees overall. So I would rather get it done with a little bit of extra slippage rather than trying to be too tight and risk not getting the trade done at all. I'm happy for here though, so we can actually just click off this and those tolerances will be saved for us. Once you're happy with that trade and you think that this will go through, you can just click this right here. Now for right now, I do not wanna go ahead with this trade because Ethereum network fees right now are just absolutely astronomical. Other than trading and swapping your coins though, you can actually add liquidity on Uniswap and benefit from those fees. You can actually add liquidity to pool and benefit from earning the fees, which as I said is 0.3% on Uniswap. When you search, you search for a pair of cryptocurrencies that you want to trade against each other. You can't change the pair in the pool, but you can add tokens into the pool to provide traders with ways of buying and selling that pair. If you have added liquidity before, you can of course take your tokens out and stop receiving the benefits of the trading fees. And there are actually two options here. You can add liquidity to an existing pair or you can create a new pair. If I click on create a pair here, you actually have the option to choose two completely new coins. If you've created an ERC20 token on the network, you can upload that and start trading in a pair. If however you choose two tokens that are already in existence, then the system will revert to adding liquidity. So if I choose a token right here that is very popular, then we can see it's actually switched to add liquidity right here because Ethereum against wrapped Bitcoin is an existing trading pair and a liquidity pool. If you want to add liquidity to this pool, you can do so. You of course need both of these coins. So you need to have Ethereum and wrapped Bitcoin in this example in the wallet you've connected to Uniswap. You can choose the amount that you want to add into the liquidity pool. We do this firstly by the input of Ethereum. So if I just put one Ethereum coin, it will automatically give us a valuation of the wrapped Bitcoin. This is based on the prices of these two currencies in the current liquidity pool as it stands. If you're happy to add liquidity, you can come down and see some statistics of the trading pool. You can see how many wrapped Bitcoin there are per Ethereum, and this matches up exactly to the amount here. We've got one Ethereum and we've got 0.037 wrapped Bitcoin. The opposite way of looking at it is that it takes 26.8 Ethereum for one wrapped Bitcoin. We can also see the share of the pool that we're getting. This is also important because if you have a very, very large percentage stake of the pool, like I said before, trading in and out of the pool will change the valuation and the larger your trade, the larger effect you have on the price, which means that you can potentially suffer from a lot of slippage, which may negatively affect the price that you're actually getting for the trade. If you're happy adding this liquidity into the pool though, and you have enough in your wallet, this will obviously be the affirmative. You can click on this and add that liquidity in. Some things to note when you add that liquidity though, is that you once more will have to pay gas fees on the Ethereum network. So that is a cost you'll have to bear in mind when putting that liquidity into the platform. After you go ahead with this balance, you'll actually be given Uniswap liquidity provider tokens, otherwise known as LP tokens. This is how you earn your income and rewards for providing liquidity on Uniswap. So should you actually use Uniswap to go and swap your tokens or is using a centralized exchange like Binance or Coinbase easier and simpler? Adding liquidity isn't just as simple as earning some money for adding your tokens. The amount of each token that you receive back after you put them up into the pool will probably change depending how people actually trade them within the pool. 
The only problem with this is that the more the prices of the tokens move away from the original price that they were when you added liquidity, the bigger the losses you will make, known sometimes as divergence loss. This is all quite complicated, but I will leave a link to a really good and succinct article written on Medium that goes over what divergence loss is and how it affects prices. But we know that adding liquidity isn't as simple as earning your 0.3% and having no other issues. Uniswap is a great choice for some people, especially if you want to swap coins anonymously for a fairly low fee in a decentralized way. Providing liquidity is more complex though and requires some thought about future price predictions of the currency pair that you are trading and also the potential losses from divergence loss and gas fees. That should all be taken into account when using decentralized exchanges like Uniswap because those sorts of things aren't an issue when you use a centralized exchange like Binance or Coinbase because you are trading within their own liquidity pools and with cryptocurrencies held in their own custody. Do subscribe for all the latest helpful cryptocurrency content and I'll see you in the next one.